Hi, Tony. Hi, Carla. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Loving the background. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, given the subject matter, it works. I love it. I love so much. So um, I wanted to ask, first and foremost, have you ever seen a match where Venus and Serena were playing? I have. Yes, I've seen, uh, I've seen them play in person before, but from a distance. <laughs> so, but there's nothing quite like it. Okay. And um, your character, Paul Cohen, he's mm -hmm. a trip. What do you have? I, I saw that you uh, said about him that he is um, a very unusual kind of person, but kind of brilliant. What do you and Paul have in common and what are your differences? Well, I think that uh, the thing that really struck me about Paul uh, when I got to know him is he's just tremendously big hearted. And I, I think we kind of share that, you know, he's kind of like a hard person. I feel like I am too in a way, which is how he coaches and that influenced his coaching style. And I really wanted that to be part of the character. So when I got to know him, that was really, really helpful. Paul is, which I am not, he's kind of a genius. Uh, he's, he's an analyst and um, he, uh, he, he's someone who um, breaks things down into very intricate systems which I don't do at all. Uh, so he approaches things from a very, very intellectual place. And so, I, gosh, I forget the number, but he said, you know, as he first started coaching Venus, what he would do, he would grid out the tennis court. And he said there are, I'm gonna get the number wrong, but he said something like, there are 237 shots in tennis, and I'm gonna teach you every single one, and you're gonna practice them. And he made a grid of the tennis court and numbered it, where, the, where her body and her racket needed to be in any given, you know, situation or shot and uh it was everything was you know deeply systematized for him and uh that's i don't function that way at all so that was really fascinating that is fascinating that is kind of brilliant and genius i'm like that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot going on right there yeah yeah <laughs> now one of the quotes that richard williams says in the film in in life he says if you if you fail to plan you plan to fail hmm. I know that your dad was in the business and I'm just curious to know if he had any kind of, if, if he gave you any kind of adage if that as you were embarking into the industry as an actor and a director. Yeah. I think my father's first plan was for me not to be an actor. <laughs> that would be like, so that plan didn't work. So then he went to plan B and was like, okay, if you're going to do this insane thing, here's what you need to know. He said, it's not about, uh, you know, becoming hot when you're young. It's about, it's not about grabbing the brass ring. It's not about being on the cover of a magazine. He said, it's about building a body of work that sustains you and that you can be proud of so that when you're in your fifties, you're still in the game. Cause the thing about our business is it's a survivor's game. And he was like, the point is to be still doing what you love when, you know, un until you're too old to do it as opposed to, you know, what our culture tells you is you got to be like the hot thing right off the bat or you're, you know, so that those were words of wisdom that uh, that my dad gave me that have stuck with me. Excellent words of wisdom. And you have built a fantabulous body of work. And it's been my pleasure to be able to talk to you a little bit about one of oh. your bodies of work today. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right. Bye.